Good morning. It's Friday, May the 15th, and I'm coming to you from my very messy basement with this morning's call to prayer. Psalm 96, verse 1. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. The request for presence today is Psalm 119, 145. I call with my whole heart. Answer me, O Lord, that I may keep your statutes. This morning's greeting is the Te Deum. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple, on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths, in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. The refrain for the morning lesson is Psalm 85, 13. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. The reading this morning is Luke 18, 1 through 8. Then he told them a parable about the need to pray continually and never lose heart. There was a judge in a certain town, he said, who had neither fear of God nor respect for anyone. In the same town there was also a widow who kept coming to him and saying, I want justice from you against my enemy. For a long time he refused, but at last he said to himself, Even though I have neither fear of God nor respect for any human person, I must give this widow her just rights, since she keeps pestering me, or she will come and slap me in the face. And the Lord said, You notice what the unjust judge has to say? Now will not God see justice done to his elect if they keep calling him day and night? Even though he delays to help them, I promise you he will see justice done to them, and done speedily. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. This morning's psalm is Psalm 31, 19-21. How great is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have done in the sight of all for those who put their trust in you. You hide them in the covert of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them in your shelter from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me the wonders of his love in a besieged city. Righteousness shall go before him, and peace shall be a pathway for his feet. Let's pray the Gloria together. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Son, glory be to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Pray with me the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer appointed for the week. Remember, O Lord, what you have wrought in us, and not what we deserve. And, as you have called me to your service, make me worthy of your calling. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. The concluding prayer of the church. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power that I may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all I do, direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen. May God bless you this day and always.